In this video, I want to talk about updating your contact database, or maybe a database that's with an FM starting point, with some sort of Excel download, or maybe some sort of CSV or tab delimited file that you've been provided. So first off, I have a practical application for this. During one of our weekly free video campaigns that we send out, we got a notification back from our email provider, which is mandrill.com, which does a great job, by the way, of providing us a great service for our outbound email campaigns, that we actually had about 4% of our emails bounce, which means 96% of our emails were good, which is really an impressive number. That being said, they gave me an email dump or a CSV file, which is essentially an Excel spreadsheet of all the email addresses that failed. As you can see over here, the emails failed for whatever reason. Invalid address, invalid this, invalid that. So who knows uh, why it failed or whatever reason it failed. But the emails bounced hard and came back to us. So we want to remove them permanently out of our email campaign system. How would we do this? Well, we need to come up with a process where we can import these into FileMaker and then have FileMaker remove them from our campaign. Now to keep this situation generic, my goal is actually bring it into FileMaker and simply mark a flag field in my FileMaker database. But once I bring the data into FileMaker, I can do anything I want with it. So I'm going to go ahead and close this Excel spreadsheet here. I'm not going to save it at all. Now, just as a side note, we've got this automatic email verification system that we've talked about before. But also, sometimes it can't fully validate some email addresses. For example, the Hotmail email servers are notoriously non-cooperative with email verification services. So the reason that we have 96% success at this point is because we have this email verification service. But this email verification service was only good for 96%. The other 4% just had to bounce. We get the notification back, and we're going to go ahead and clean them out right now. So how do we do this? Well, we need to be able to import these into FileMaker. And to do that, the best way would be to import them into a temporary holding area, then process them from there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into File, Manage, Database. I'm going to see all the tables that I have in this copy of FM Starting Point. Now, this is an older copy of FM Starting Point that we've customized to manage our email campaigns here at RCC. I'm going to add a table called Email, Import, Bounce. And I'm going to say Create. And then I'm going to simply say Fields. And I'm going to say Email, Address. And that's really all I need. That's all I really care about. All the rest of the telemetry as to what the error message was, I really don't care about that. All I know is that they bounced and they need to go away. If I had other fields that I wanted to capture, I could add those in here, but I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to say OK. Now what FileMaker is going to do by creating a new table in the system, they are also going to create a new layout right here for me. And so here's the new layout. It has no records in it. I'm going to go File import from file. I'm going to go to desktop. I'm going to specify activity and open. And I got to find the email address. Here it is right here. I'm going to bring it down right there. And I am going to have 388 records that failed on this attempt. That looks good. So I'm going to go ahead and hit import right now. And it says 348 records were imported. And I can flip through here, and it looks like we uh, have those in here. Now I'm going to go ahead and press this button right here to put this into a table view and save it here. And so we have a table view that's really handy right here. And so the next thing we need to do is cross-connect it to the contacts table. Now there's two ways of doing this. One is where we could create a relationship from this table here to the contacts table, or we could completely script it and script it by writing a loop that would grab this value here, then jump over to the contacts area, do a find, and do some mechanics or some sort of processing. I'm going to go ahead and set this up through a relationship at this point. I'm going to go into uh, File, Manage, Database. I'm going to go into Relationships here. 
And what I'm going to do is I've got this email bounce table occurrence right here. I'm going to add another table occurrence right here for a contact. And I'm going to put it right here. And I'll give this proper naming later. But what I need to do is find the email address. And there it is right there. So I'm going to attach this email address to that email right there. In fact, I can probably drag them down here at some point. And there's T10, and there's T24, so probably it'd be like T25 or something like that. I'm going to name it, give it a main table occurrence number, T25 underscore. And then this would be T25A. This keeps everything commented correctly, so we're able to read these in the relationships much more easily. And then, I could, of course, I could put a yellow box in here and, and set all this up, but that just gets us going right here. So I'm going to say OK. And the next thing I need to do is create a script. Now, I'm going to pop another window here. I'm going to go to Contacts, Data Entry. I'm going to find Richard Carlton, and here I am. So what I need to do now is I need to go over here. I'm going to go into layout mode, and I need to find the field that I want to target. And the field is this invalid email field right here. So the field is called probably flag something, flag invalid email. And it has a value of one. So I want to set that to one. So flag invalid email needs to become one. That is what we want to do. So what I'm going to do is come over here. I'm going to say new script. Mark emails from bounced email import layout. What this is going to do is this is going to run a loop. We'll just say go to uh, record next, and then it'll exit after last. And then we're going to set a field through the relationship. Now remember, we're in T25, but we're going to set it through T25A, and the field we want is flag invalid email. And we're going to set that to 1. And that's what we want to run. This is the script right here we're going to run. So I'm going to save this, and I'm going to uh, actually bring that field down here. I'm going to go click this. I option dragged it so I could uh, bring that down. I'm going to go T25A, and I'm going to actually bring this field over here so I can actually see it. This is not required, but just because I'm verbose like this, I like to see what's going on just so I can do a little testing on this script along the way. I'm going to go back to browse mode. And I notice that I don't the flag invalid is right here. And remember, this will be one as soon as the script starts to work. I'm going to start us at the top right here. And I'm going to turn on the script debugger over here. And then I'm going to start the script. I'm going to start it right here. And I'm going to step through. So it's going to go to the field, and it sets it. And this is going to go to the next record. And field, and set. And so there it goes. And so it's already working. And so it's going through all these bad emails, and it's marking them. Pretty slick. So I'm going to go ahead and press play here. I'm going to let this continue on automatic and let this finish all 348 records that need to be processed. So hopefully that gives you an idea of how to import a set of email addresses, set up a relationship to the contacts database, and then be able to write a script that goes through and affects changes into that contacts record.